In this video, we discuss how to do composting at home. This is part two. And part one, we talked about what is composting, waste segregation, and why do we need to do composting? In short, I try to convince you to do composting. So let's get set and go now. Since there are different ways of composting and it depends on a variety of factors which way you choose for yourself. For example, whether you live in an apartment or a standalone house, whether you generate food waste or garden waste more, whether you want to go for a low cost option or something which is totally convenient or whether you want to use bins, tumblers. Friends, there are three main ways of composting. First is the aerobic which is the most common and it's also called hot composting. The second one is the anaerobic. It's in two ways it can be done either in an unmanaged way in the form of digging in pits and just keeping it sealed which is the cold composting or either it can be done inside our homes also. Aerobic means it's done in an airy setup and anaerobic means no air is permitted. And then equally popular is the third way of composting and that is vermi composting. So we will talk about each one of them here right away, starting with aerobic composting. What do we need here? These five things. Air is obvious since it is aerobic composting and also because aerobic bacteria are working. So when we say bacteria, so we need microbes. And then we need the greens, the browns and the moisture which act as the substrate for these microbes. So what are greens? They are the nitrogen rich food waste. What are the browns? They are the carbon rich dry material which are not only food for these microbes, our friendly ones, but also they manage the air and the moisture in our compost setup and speeds up the process. Microbes can be introduced either from existing soil or from previously made compost or from commercial product or even buttermilk. And air as we know is required for the process. It is uh, induced and in, inducted into the system by turning which can be manual or mechanical. And then this process generates heat which kills the pathogens of the final product that is compost. We will talk about aerobic composting when I discuss my journey of composting as well. But a question might have arisen what are the greens? So here is the answer. The general food waste, the coffee grounds and the tea leaves, the grass clippings, the fruit scraps and peels and the veg scraps. And what are the browns then? Well they are the dry leaves, the twigs and the branches, the dead and the dry plants the sawdust and the wood clips, sorry, chips and paper or cardboard. A tip from my end of being a one year old composter that we can add mineral rich banana peels and eggshells into our composting mix because they give a host of nutrients to our mix like potassium, phosphorus, magnesium and calcium apart from other. And there are certain things which aerobic composting may not be able to do as efficiently in the small setup and that is why we need to talk about anaerobic composting as well. Now friends, as I have told before, the cold composting type of anaerobic composting is when we actually have pits dug up which we seal for sealing the air from the waste mix down there. But this process takes a long time and uh, there are other factors in. So if you need to do it for apartment type setup, we have the Bokashi composting, which is the anaerobic managed composting. It's also called fermentation or pickling because it yields not the compost, but a pre-compost to start with. But then when mixed with cocoa peat in a total period of claimed 1.5 months, our compost is ready. And of course there is no odor. So why, how does Bokashi composting work this way? is because it has a, a bran which is given with the uh, bins which has specially selected anaerobic microbes and these microbes not only decompose or work on our waste which is not properly decomposed in the aerobic uh, composting method but they also kill the pathogens and which waste I am talking about is all types of kitchen waste including dairy, meat and fish. Yes friends, 
Generally, we do not include these products in our aerobic composting home setup. But these uh, anaerobic microbes, well, they work very well with these type of waste. And since it's a closed setup, uh, there is no chances of odor slipping out or there is no chance of pest coming in. So we are actually having a good method on our hand. We will talk about Bokashi composting when we discuss the composting gears a little later in this video. So I would also like to tell you that in the description, I have added a link which compares composting to Bokashi composting. So you may have a look at that. And now we come to the third method and that is vermi composting. Friends, as the name suggests here, worms will be used. And these worms are generally the earthworms or the red wigglers. And these as well as the vermi beds are available offline or online. They can be purchased. Or the basic setup would just be an aerated bin or box with moist newspaper bedding and soil sprinkled to give comfort to our friendly worms. And what do we feed them with is veg raw food waste. Now friends, there is a very good article on vermi composting for those who want to know more about it in the description. Please have a look at it. But here in this video, I give an outline of what is required for vermi composting. So it's bedding, then there is the worms, then there is some carbon source that is required. Then of course we need the food scraps, then some grit, which is coffee grounds or eggshells, and finally the worm bin, bin, and a mesh on top of it. So friends, I've given you a brief idea on the three more important ways of composting. Now is the time for the composting gear options that we have. Now we select them on, on the basis of our requirements basically or relate, it is uh, dependent on the scale of composting we want to do and what level of investment we want to make. So in this video we are mostly talking about the scale which is home composting be it apartment or independent home. So here are a few options based on my research of the composting gear available. Easily. So I would call out the names and then there are the characteristic features. For example, first gear is the Daily Dump Gobble Senior Plastic. Well, they have various variants uh, with a smaller size, which actually I have ordered recently for myself. So the general time that it takes for composting as claimed by these products is one and a half months. And the price range is from 1800 to 3500. For example, this bin Four set bin cost us around 2800 on Amazon. They claim that all kitchen waste can be added in it. Then there is another one which is the green bin composter. The third one is the Bokashi trust bin which I had mentioned earlier about and it's price 1900. So this is the trust bin that I had uh, mentioned about earlier in the Bokashi type of composting system. And uh, it says it again deals with all types of waste and it comes with compost maker and a manual. And the Bokashi bin is the Biodrops bin. Now it's again priced in the similar range. I would like to tell you that the links of all these products are placed in the description box. There are some more options we have like this one which is for those who have more space. So this is the Daily Dump Chomp Triple Row Composter which is priced a little higher that is 3500 but it manages more waste than the earlier options that I told you about. And those who want to look beyond the bins, we have this drums. One is this twin drum composter, which is in the range of 7000. And it is a set of two bins and it is rotated manually. Now the links to all of these composting options are given in the description box. It is just to make you aware of existence of this product and it's not for the uh, and it's not for the purpose of popularizing one over the other. And then there is a single drum composter as well, like RUR single drum composter. So it is priced as 15,000. It comes with a lot many accessories. And yes, it also says that the compost is ready within six weeks at max. So are these the only options? Of course not. Apart from bins and tumblers, we have the pits or trenches method, the piles method, and the automatic machines. So pile method is when we are actually piling up the rows of the waste 
along with soil or and along with manure and they're done in a systematic way and pit method as you know we are digging and dropping or we are digging trenches the digging and dropping method is just to dig holes there are just on the side of the plants where we need the nutrients to be transported to so it's a very convenient method and on the other hand the trenches method require more space and they can be done when we have stretch of land which is empty for a period so that composting can replenish the nutrients in it and then of course there are some organic waste converter machines and some residential societies have taken to tank composting in which they actually make tanks and they have a proper system for all these i have put the links in the description box so as for composting basic and complete that's been my uh, endeavor in part 2 and in part 3 will be the action part my journey with aerobic composting do watch it did you find this video useful if yes please like it comment and share take care and see you in the next video